and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi my name is Kendall and in today's video I'm gonna be doing a little um, tips and tricks on how to succeed during remote learning I know it is such a weird time for everybody and I mean it's a weird time for me I'm a college student I go to the University of North Carolina at Charlotte and nobody really knows what's going on right now but I'm gonna give you guys some tips as to how you can be successful with remote learning since a lot of schools will be transitioning to that in the fall. I have a 4.0 right now. Hopefully I can keep it up, but I'm going to give you guys some tips as to how I have been keeping up with my uh, GPA. And yeah, but real quick, I wanted to do a little PSA and that is elections are coming up in November. So make sure you guys are registered to vote. I'm going to leave like a list of states right here and their deadlines as to when you can register to vote. But it's so imperative that if you are 18 or older that you get out there and vote um, in November. And you're not just voting for the president, you're voting for all these things. So if you guys want to make a change in your community and you want to, you know, see the world just be a better place, make sure you guys get out there and vote. All right, so make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up if you like it and don't forget to subscribe. And let's hop right on into the video. Okay, so the first thing that I have on my list is organization is key. If you're doing remote or virtual learning and you're not organized, it's going to be super duper hard. So one thing that I recommend is getting a notebook where you can have multiple subjects in it. So this one is by Need. This is the notebook that I used uh, my spring semester for um, my sophomore year and it has five subjects and normally I take five classes per semester so this is really helpful um but basically i just separate my classes into each of the subjects so this is my interpersonal communications class um women and gender studies it's all like right here so if you have a notebook where you can just have all of your classes in one it's super helpful and you don't have to worry about searching for a notebook or if you've misplaced a notebook for one of your classes it's all just in one. Next thing that I uh, recommend is little file folders. These ones are from Target. And basically what I do is I put like the syllabus in the folder or handouts that my professors give me or things that I print off of the internet or my study worksheets that I make. I keep them all right here. And if you have your folders, just like the notebook, it's all right here all in one spot, easy to access, and you're really organized this way. The next thing that I'm gonna recommend is a calendar or a planner. So I had a calendar in my dorm. It was like a uh, sticker and it was a dry erase board and I totally recommend that. I feel like when you put a calendar on your wall and you're able to see it and you cross things off, it makes you more inclined to wanna get things done. Um, and yeah, I feel like when you're able to envision things or just see it right there on the wall, you're more, you want to get things done. But if you don't want to buy anything, I got you because you can also print one. Um, this is one that I found on Pinterest, I think, but you can really find them anywhere and just print them off or you can make your own. Um, but this is one from my summer classes and I color coordinated it so I know which you know class was for what and what I was doing so I was like yellow would be like for my finals or green is like readings you know so on so on very helpful I put this on my wall crossed things off when I was done saw it got it done you know last thing for this section is a planner and I know there's a ton of you who are like I bought a 2020 planner I haven't even used it I relate to that but when you keep a planner, you can see it and make sure you get one that you like. You can personalize it. So just like the calendar, I have everything written down. And yeah, really recommend having a calendar in which you can see things or you can just use your phone. That works too. Next thing that I recommend is having apps on your phone. So one that I recommend is called Noted. And basically what that is, is you can take notes on your phone and also record. So if you have a professor or a video 
and you want to record what your professor is saying, you can do that and also like jot down notes at the same time. Or you can just use your um, voice memo app on your phone, whatever works best for you. Um, Google Calendar or Apple Calendar, whatever you want to use, like I said, put in the dates for when you have assignments due um, and you will get a notification. Socratic is also a great app. Now disclaimer, I'm not condoning cheating. Don't cheat you guys, cheating's not good. But if you want a little help on like your homework or something, Socratic, you can take a picture of the question and it will either give you an answer or it will give you like a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do it. So that's really good. I know sometimes we're limited on resources and sometimes our professors or teachers don't really do that great of a job of explaining things. So Socratic is really helpful if you just don't know. It's like, this is your last resort. If you don't know what it is, use Socratic. So the next thing that I'm going to recommend is playlists. Now, playlists is not like your everyday music that you listen to. Playlists is like study beats, something that will help you focus. I'll leave a picture here of one that I use all the time during school. Um, but yeah, listening to study beats helps you focus. I really recommend it just if you like to have that kind of background noise. The next thing that I'm going to recommend is finding a place to study. Now I know sometimes this is not possible and that's okay. You can make a little spot in your room, but what I don't recommend is sitting on your bed and doing homework. Personally, whenever I do that, I always end up falling asleep because your bed is so comfortable. Whenever you study, you want to be comfortable, but not too comfortable. Because if you get too comfortable, that's when you start going on your phone and not doing any work and not being productive so i recommend either you know finding a desk sitting at a table laying everything out getting your highlights pencils whatever um but don't sit on your bed and do your work because you probably won't get things done so the next thing that i'm going to recommend is setting a schedule whenever you set a schedule just like i said with the calendars you're going to be able to see it so before i start studying i like to make a list of things that I want to accomplish. Um, I like to ha use the stickies on my MacBook. It's like a little app type of thing that you can use. Um, and when you use stickies, you can delete things or add things and it just helps you see it. Or you can just get a piece of paper and write down some things that you want to accomplish. This kind of segues into my next point and that is to make attainable goals. Whenever you study, you don't want to overwork yourself because that leads to stress and stress is not good you want to set goals so maybe you want to read for an hour but never go above like two hours consecutive of doing something because once that happens your brain crashes you get tired probably won't remember anything so make sure you're setting attainable goals for yourself that you know you can accomplish so the next thing that i'm going to do is kind of with like um, remembering things and that's using flashcards so I have some flashcards right here these ones aren't open but it's just an example they're from Target but you can also use Quizlet Quizlet has the learn option flashcards you can make tests um, it has games on there and they're all to help you remember your vocab words or your questions or whatever you're you know studying for I love using Quizlet, there's an app for it. I have it on my phone. If I'm like on the bus, I'm studying on Quizlet before a test or the night before I'm studying Quizlet. I love using the learn function just because it has like multiple choice questions, fill in the blank and writing stuff down. And yeah, if you, you have to do it a certain amount of times before you can get a 100% and that really helps with memory recognition. And that's super duper helpful is take healthy breaks all right i know sometimes you guys want to get it all over with and you want to get it done but i promise you if you cram it's it's going it's not going to be pretty so take healthy breaks if you're studying for one hour take an hour break you know stuff like that 30 minutes 15 minute break you know things like that take healthy breaks make sure you guys are eating and drinking water 
it's so important that you are feeding your body and making sure that you are healthy and that you can do it. Email your professors or your teachers. Nine times out of 10, they'll respond and they want to help you. And if they don't, they suck. And that's just the honest truth. Um, but yeah, email your professors if you have any questions. It's super important that you can make those connections with your professors because sometimes they forget stuff too and that's not their fault or they forget to put like a reading that they said was on the syllabus. You email them, they make that connection. They're like, oh, thank you so much for reminding me, blah, blah, blah. Or if you have a question about something, nine times out of 10, they will help you with it. And last but not least, don't stress. Take it easy, take it one step at a time because you got this. I know it's gonna be really hard making this adjustment to remote learning in the fall, but you got it. I know everybody is a different learner, so take these tips and apply them to yourself and how you wanna see it play out for you. But make sure you guys don't stress yourself out about anything, it's just school, all right? You got it, I know you can do it, I believe in you got it all right all you gotta do is put out those positive words of affirmations and you can do it i did it you can do it all right everybody that is it for this video i hope you found my tips for remote learning helpful if you did give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video bye